So, good morning. Tackling climate change and caring for our environment requires us to think the way we live. And this is why we have made the European Green Deal our priority. We're taking the necessary steps one by one to get there. And today it's the strategy for a renovation wave that will help us cut emissions and reduce energy poverty. It will bring economic, um, social and environmental benefits. But the European Green Deal is way more than that. It is a systemic change. And to achieve this, we need a broad engagement, we need wide support, and we need lots of imagination and creativity behind it. And this is why we're launching today the European Bauhaus. The European Bauhaus movement is intended to be a bridge. A bridge between, on one hand, the world of science and uh, technology, and on the other hand, the world of arts and culture. It is about a new European Green Deal aesthetics, combining the good design with sustainability. The European Bauhaus is about bringing the European Green Deal closer to people's minds and homes, and making tangible the comfort and the attractiveness of sustainable living. The European Bauhaus will demonstrate that the necessary can also be beautiful. The European Bauhaus will be a think and experimentation space. It will be a forum for discussion, for example, or an experimentation lab. It will be an accelerator for new solutions or a hub for global networks and experts. It might be a discussion space for citizens interested in the topic. We will roll out the European Bauhaus in three stages. The first one is a design phase to explore the ideas and to shape the movement. And here we want to draw on the expertise and the engagement of many. So be it designers or architects or artists or digital experts, scientists, entrepreneurs, students, engineers, you just name it. Everybody who wants to take part with it is invited to come. The second stage will be the delivery phase, starting with five European Bauhaus projects in different EU member states, all of them committed to sustainability, combined with arts and culture, and each adapted to the different local conditions and with specific focus, such as, for example, natural building materials, or energy efficiency, or demographics. Future-oriented mobility could be one topic, or the resource-efficient digital innovation might lead another one. And finally, the third phase will be about spreading the idea. The European Bauhaus vocation is to grow and reach out beyond Europe's border. So if Europe is to lead the way in the twin green and digital transition, we should engage in cultural debates as well. And the new European Bauhaus is part of this broader vision we have, building the world of tomorrow that is more sustainable, more beautiful, more humane. This is our goal. Thank you.